Hi beautiful rose hearts, this is Sandy and this is the first of a new series of videos that I'm going to be making around the mandalas of love, these mandalas that I have been creating with the rose alchemy oracle and um, this is a new adventure beyond the oracle with the new rose dragon energies that are part of a new set that I'm going to be publishing in 2014. You will see the elemental rose dragons are the five energies that are square colored, square shaped cards that are set as the foundation round behind the five energies from the original rose oracle. So we have the elemental rose dragon of earth, air, fire, water and ether that are holding the foundational underpinning of this mandala. She's saying we are of the earth. You are of the earth. Every molecule of this physical vessel that we journey in is in the same ratio of earth, air, fire, water and ether that is Mother Earth. Her body and our bodies are directly connected, which of course is why natural medicine is such a healing balm on the body. So these five elemental rose dragon energies form the framework for this particular mandala of love. And I will talk you through the other energies that have come forward to be part of this particular ten-pointed star of love and light. So here we have the Rose Angel 8 in the top right hand corner and she reminds us of listening to our gut wisdom, trusting our gut wisdom, in trusting our innate sense of wisdom. Always tune in and see what your gut has to tell you in any circumstance. This vessel is um, a communication and an alchemical pot that we journey in. And she really calls us to listen carefully to the messages that she has for us. Moving round, we have Rose Bagua 8. And this rose talks of know thyself and to thine own self be true. She sits in the area of the Bagua that speaks of wisdom, of contemplation, self-knowledge coming in. And you can see that there's a deep dive into the centre of her and yet she's already opening out to expand and to fully blossom. So there is a calling within and an expression without with this particular rose. On round again and we come to Rose Bagua 9. And this rose says, be true visionaries of your path and follow this through to its ultimate expression. This rose in the traditional Bagua sits in the area of fame. But this is really the ultimate, part, the ultimate point on our path. When we have seeded a, a vision, when we have been gifted insight, it is for us to be the carrier waves for that out into the world. And this rose speaks to us of mastery. She speaks to us of holding that vision and being able to, to carry that forward into its fullest expression. On round again and we get to rose five. This rose sits on the throat chakra. She's very refined and defined. And she's saying that we must be aware of the power of our words. And there is also something here that she's wanting to say about reminding us about sharing ahead of time. 
when we are in the process of the seeding of an idea and the expression of an idea, there is a time when we need to come within and be super, super clear about what is true for us. The throat chakra is our expression of truth. She is where we can share ourselves with the world, but only when we know what we have to say is true in every fibre of our being. And the fifth rose here that is set within this mandala of ten is rose six. And this rose sits in the body at the sacral chakra. Again, this is really about anchoring in and really knowing what is in truth who we are and in truth aligned to the essence of what we are here to hold. Base chakra, which works very much with the sacral chakra, is that tribal imprint. It's like, I'm, here, I'm Sandy, here I am, I've arrived. What we're looking at here in the sacral chakra is from that beginning, from that seeding, from that uh, familial storyline, what have I found to be true for me? And can I live from that place of authentic truth? So this is a very, very powerful um, mandala that is really asking us to be so mindful of being absolutely clear about our own path as we move through February. It really is anchoring the passage and the pathway for us as we move through the rest of this year. You will see also that wanted to come into this mandala are these beautiful little rose hearts that are pentagram and hold all of the seeding of the roses. The rose heart for me speaks to the Rosa Mystica, this mystery of love that sits in the heart of all. And around this I've got Mangano calcite and on the outer edge there is some strawberry quartz. It has a very, very beautiful but strong feeling to it, this particular mandala. February is a powerful month for us as we move through the uh, new moon on the 9th is a very powerful new moon. And also to say that I have a new six-week adventure <laughs> with the ro Elemental Rose Dragons that starts on the 15th. And uh, you can find all details for that on the website in the events page in rosealchemy.com this is offering us a deep insight to the wisdom of these elements and how we can bring better balance and alignment and better sense of our connection to Mother Earth through their wisdom anyway, I hope you enjoy <laughs> 